Good morning, America. What happened yesterday? I hadn't even gotten a full story. I had probably picked up some bits and pieces from the Chinese news network. I mean the Clinton news net. I mean CNN. They want to get this thing going. This guy that got shot in Wisconsin, he hasn't even passed. As a matter of fact, looks like he's going to be fine. Well, paralyzed, but fine. Now, I pray to God that those officers were following our standard operating procedure. Because if they were, no one will be charged. If that's the case, no one needs to pay this family anything. I really pray to God that uh, he was, he's got a criminal history. He was just being the criminal that he's been in the past. They made the right call. They're alive. None of them got injured. We'll see. I noticed that his father went on Facebook saying it's the police's fault for all the buildings that are being burned down here and across the nation. So he's trying to fan the flames. He is a Democrat. I already know that. For one, he screwed up and he's blaming someone else for his mistake. He didn't raise his son properly, and now he's blaming the police department because his criminal thug, I mean son, got shot. Where were you, Dad? You're quick to go on Facebook. You're quick to probably set up a GoFundMe page. You're quick to blame the police. Where were you as his father? If you'd have done your job, he never would have talked to the police. Never would have had any encounter with the police. Go figure. But because you failed as a father and you're pretty much a loser, or you've got kids that are losers, I'd like to know what the rest of your kids are like. You're not a responsible father, so I know you got more than one, probably got some you don't even know about. This is the decay of America. This came from the Welfare Act, where there are no fathers in the family. This is where abortion came in and started getting real good. This was led by the Democrats. Killing black babies and, and having them vote Democrat for the rest of their lives was all the Democrats wanted to do when they signed in the Welfare Act. Uh, Lyndon Bain Johnson said, we'll have these Negroes voting Democrat for 100 years or 50 years. But he didn't use the word Negro. Okay? He was a racist. All your Democrats are racist. They always have been. They always will be. And they are the champions for killing the unborn babies. The blessings God's given us. You know today, folks, that over half the black babies in New York are killed rather than allowed to be born? That's the decay of America. Decay. San Francisco. L.A. Portland. Seattle. Chicago. St. Louis. Baltimore. New York. Folks, the 50 top cities in America. This is how the governors break down, politically speaking. Two independents. 13 Republicans. 35 Democrats. Name me one city in the comment section below where the Democrats have done anything for the black population in their community. Maxine Waters, what have you done? Elijah Cummings, what have you done? You made $13.2 billion disappear in 2019. That's what you've done. That's what you've done, Elijah. You ripped off your community again. $13.2 billion. Not one stinking swing set up. The kids didn't get a nickel. You want your community to ever thrive, you have to take care of your children. Pretty basic. <coughs> Poverty. Everywhere you look. Baltimore. Democrat run. 54 years. 
Detroit, Democrat run. Chicago, Democrat run. Seattle, Portland, Democrat run. San Francisco, Democrat run. Now in San Francisco, <clears throat> it's against the law to drink out of a straw. You can't have a cherry coke or strawberry shake from Macandon's with a plastic straw. Now they'll give you plastic syringes on this corner so you can walk down a block to the drug zone where you can legally shoot heroin. Get a lot of drink cherry coke, but heroin's okay. And we're gonna give you needles that never break down plastic, even though you can't use a straw. You can use needles and shoot up heroin, but we don't want you drinking in a straw. Uh, this is where adults dress up as large vaginas and penises and walk through the streets in public every year. They paint their bodies, their nude bodies, and go on display. This is some sick crap. This is sick Democrat crap. They've fallen in with the LBG, ABCDQ, STV Act. And now they got the homosexuals and the transsexuals and the lost intersexuals that don't know where the hell they belong. You got these people that relate to everything. You know? I pray to God I never see one of these guys relating as a woman when my daughter goes into the bathroom, or my granddaughter rather, at Target. Because I see a grown man follow a 12 year old girl in the bathroom. I'm identifying as a dentist, and this boy's got gum disease. He needs all of his teeth removed. And he'll take them to his dentist in his front pocket. Okay? I don't play that. I can be meek and gentle. But you don't harm my... Ch you don't... <laughs> Woe be on to somebody better. You have a millstone cast around your neck and thrown in the deepest part of the ocean than to hurt one of my little ones. You heard that expression? Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I'm going to step in and jump in. I'm going to cut him off on this one. If I see it happening, I'm going to jump in front of him. Sorry, it's just, maybe that's God's way of intervening. I don't know. Folks, I'm going to wrap this up. This guy, I really pray to God he don't get no lawsuits out of this. You can't pay criminals for breaking the law. Okay? Like they paid George Floyd, who was a junkie that OD'd. Just happened to OD and die while he was in police custody. Because he made stupid decisions his whole entire life. George Floyd was an idiot. I normally don't talk about dead people. But when you've done nine stints in prison, you did a home invasion and you stuck a gun to a pregnant woman's belly, a black pregnant woman. This is supposed to be your sister, okay? Are you kidding me? While your buddies ransacked her house and stole her food stamps. He's a scum bucket, okay? And we're gonna burn the country down over this scum bucket? Come on. I, you know, it used to put me off a little bit when Candace Owens used to say, he's nobody special. But the more you get to looking at this guy, he really is a turd. Not as big as Nancy Pelosi, granted, but he's up there. Listen, I'm going to wrap this thing up. Uh, my light's blinking, so I'm about to go down. Have a blessed day. Give me in the comment section below anything you can think of that Joe Biden has done for the black community in the 47 years he's been in the White House. I'll wait, because my list of what Trump's done in three years, three and a half years, is far longer. I mean, it's going to be 10 times as long. And we'll, go, we'll do this if you want to. Folks, have a blessed day. We'll see you soon. Don't pay the criminals for breaking the law. Be blessed. Like, share, and subscribe. See you soon.